right, y'all. We got the snook. We got the black drum and the trout. A couple other things. And uh, we ran out of shrimp. I don't want to go back off island. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this net. Oop, this little bait bucket. We're going to go up in those mangroves. See if we can catch some of those fiddler crabs. I've seen a couple of big sheep's head hanging around the pilings. And we'd really like to have fish dinner tonight instead of cheeseburgers. So let's go see if we can get ourselves some dinner. <laughs> That's a good one there. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. There's a big one right here. Got him. That right there is exactly what we're looking for. Let's say we get about a dozen of these and we'll go fishing. Halfway there. There we go. We're going deeper in. Woo! Stepped in a wasp nest. Woo! Super risky, just stepped in a wasp nest. <laughs> they all came swarming out on me. Let's see how many we got. We might just have to go with what we got. Eight of them? Ah, I don't like having only eight of them. Man, I was kind of shocked. I didn't think there'd be wasps down here in the muck. But, whoo! Those are red wasps too. They're not like mud daubers or something that aren't really gonna hurt you. Those are, those are the bad ones. So I'm gonna use these tiny little circle hooks here. Seem to work best for sheep's head. <clears throat> I'm gonna tie it on with a loop knot, which is just about what I always do when I'm using a bear hook. All right, let's go. Look at the size of that sheep's head. That's a tank. Yeah, that's a good one there. I'm definitely going down to the dock to land him. Oh, that's a good one there. Please stay on. Please stay on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got him. Lose him. Oh god. Oh yeah, I just see him. Looks like it could be a keeper. Oh, that's definitely a keeper. Yeah, that's perfect. Already eaten too. I'll drop this next to him and see if it'll work. Oh yeah, he's interested all right. Dang. Can you go grab me another? I got him. I got, oh, he came off. The small one dropped part of the crab and the big one took it. And he came off. Dang, we probably won't get another shot at him. Eagle eye for these sheep says she's found another batch of them. Should I drop it this way? Hey guys, I missed the recording, but there's number three. Hooked right in the roof of the mouth with that circle hook. See that smile. Look at that smile. <laughs> Boy, they got some ugly teeth. <laughs> My wife, Mary, she's the spotter. <laughs> she spotted two out of three and she caught the fiddler crabs for two out of three. Cause I want them for dinner so bad. We set out this morning to get some sheep's head. We went out there and got the uh, fiddler crabs and we got the sheep's head. So celebration time. We're going to go back to the house and we'll cook them up.
right y'all we got the fish in the pan a little bit of olive oil and some butter and what we put on the fish is a little bit of oil and then uh, Everglades fish and chicken seasoning is the best stuff in the world looking good oh a catch clean and cook Camp catch is good because in the future I plan on spreading out to catch another stuff. I want to do some hunting and what like catching, <laughs> like catching. Oh, I'd love to hunt. Oh, yeah, I would love to do a catch, clean, and cook on an iguana. <laughs> Well y'all, that was about as cheap and easy as a fish dinner gets right there. A couple of fiddler crabs, nothing but, I don't know, 12 inches of a floral leader and a small hook. And about two hours time, you can put a real good dinner together. If you ever want to teach a kid how to fish, or if you ever want to throw a quick dinner on the table, highly recommend targeting sheep's head. Thanks for checking out my video. Like and subscribe. See you next time.